ready to ride? like a fighter. How come she hasn't joined us before? We are to prove our worth to them as warriors. They this one can ride fast, but they do not like to wait for others. The wind in their grasslands is so sharp it can slice through mountains. It is a fierce land, so the Zeswa must be even fiercer. It will be different, but we are ready for the challenge. You must go without your Ygrad. She will not follow you into the grasslands. Why not? It is unknown sky to her, too far from her own. You must trust the bond. You as it may be. She will join you once we have learned more of the land and its challenges. How will I travel then? You will learn. And when you are ready, the Zeswa ancestors can show you the way. But for now, fly to the waterfall cliffs. There is a cave system that runs all the way up to the plains. Hey, Solek. I'm nearing a really big RDA base. It's in the northern part of the Kinlor Forest. Avoid that place if you wish to live. There are more RDA at that base than Kinglor in the forest. And do not even try to get near it on Ikran. The anti-air turrets will shoot you down instantly. Okay. I'll try to keep away from it for now. But what is this place anyway? I do not know what the RDA are doing there. Priya or Daylan may fill you in on that part. But the RDA will crush you should you go there unprepared. It would be a waste after rescuing you from the cold sleep. Yeah, yeah. The cliff. There should be a cave. I have to go on my own now. But I'll see you soon. entrance to the cave. Raise the signal kite.
even when they do not seem like they do. From tree to stone. From wild. Nassim sent me to speak with the Saik of the Zeswa. Then we have found each other. You have been missed. <laughs> Mina! The Saturn to tread the grass again. Let us ride the wind and celebrate by the fire. We will hear your tales like we used to. Sister, you must give the warrior time to adjust. Breathe our air, feel our earth beneath their feet. Meet the Zakru. Who is the Sakru? Our wards and our guardians. Our home and heart. The home of our people wanders, warrior. It is never in the same place. But we leave kites in its wake. Flying high. So you always know how to get home. <laughs> you already think like a Zespa. Now we will teach you to ride like one. First, you must find a dire horse. Any will do. Our bond with them is short-lived. Move slowly, be calm. Then make the bond and get home. It's okay. I won't hurt you. No! Try again. Patience. You're okay. Don't worry. Hey there, it's okay. That's it, easy.
our Zakru friends will be eager to meet you. Find their kites. Sometimes you just need to cut through the problem. It is odd to look at, but it must be so much stranger to wear. This spear will move around. You're okay. Don't worry. Hey, you're going to be okay. Not the way to the Zeswa camp.
back on track. Not the way to the Zeswa camp. Gotta find the next kite. I'm backtracking. Back on track. <laughs> Daylan, the Zeswat Zai taught me to ride a dire horse. Did you name them already? It's a little different. Bonding with them is only temporary. Oh, well, it's still pretty cool, though. How does it feel riding one? Strong, powerful, but they don't turn like any clan does. <laughs> Guess they don't fly as well either. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they make crossing these plains a lot faster. It's all so vast and open here. So different.
to lead, explore. How foolish I was. Gotta find the next kite. They complement each other, even as they compete. Oh, to be that young again. Do they ever get hurt? <laughs> Our people have hot heads and warmer hearts. When the Zakru walk, we follow. And when they rest? We let the ground learn our feet as we dance, the air our voices as we laugh and sing. I wish I was as strong and fierce as your people. Then you need to drink more Zakru milk. <laughs> we boil it, curd it with thistles into fresh cheese, and leave it to cure with savory dry leaves. And with the way we brew Zanke, the fire that brightens our celebrations. The legend says Zakru are stones made into beasts. 
Ever since the first Zakuru offered us shelter, we have had music, joy, and merry. I have a surprise for you. But we need a gourd of fresh Zakuru milk. How could I should have one? There is something I must do across the stream. It is part of the surprise. Take your time to walk around and meet the Zeswa. Our fearless riders are famous even beyond the grasslands. And there is someone in the nursery eager to meet you. Our feet head softly because of Sosu. We should not forget it. Your dire horse looks so powerful. Yo, you speak like the sky people. All creatures are like property to them. But she doesn't belong to anyone. I know. They are free. As free as we are. And each is unique, like you and me. This one enjoys the company of Zakru. She finds their calm soothing. Do you ride? I've been practicing. If you want to learn our ways, you must master it. Dire horses are everything to my people. They help us carry our tents. We hunt with them. We fight with them and charge as one. Our bellowing war cries echoing in the plains, shrinking the hearts of our enemies. Don't worry, Sarentu. Those are just stories. How it was in the times when such things were needed. Those times may return soon. If they do, we will be ready. She and I both. It is a good day to fight. Is she asleep? Mm hmm Her name is Ko Akte. She does as the grown-ups do. You have built your home around them. They must be deep sleepers. Mm hmm They don't just sleep, but feed. But one day they will wake up and leave, to look for fresh soil. When they do, we will follow. You are travelers, like my people. Like they used to be. I've only heard stories about the Sarentu. My mother said when she taught one how to comb a Zakru's mane. But he tripped and fell into the milk vat. Um... But every time they visited, they would raise the celebration kites. And everyone would gather, dance fight, drink sanke. Your clan was loved. And now, you are here. We will celebrate again. The 
Archers are magnificent, of course. The Saren too, visitor. Gossip precedes you. I hope it's good gossip. Just that you are a warrior in the making. Alas, nothing juicy. I've met Kin. He asked me to find milk. Ah, oh, Kin. His jokes used to be the joy of the clan. But he has not been the same since Sosu left. Here, fresh milk. Graciously shared with us by the Zakru. The foundation of our strength. Who is Sosul? Kin's Zanke drinking partner. Have you not heard? He became the burden carrier. He left the clan. Forever. Carrying that dreadful weight on his back. That must have been very difficult. To leave everyone you love behind. Tis a sad honor. But he took our burdens away, so we travel light. Thanks to Sosul, when the Zakru walk, we can follow. Life is more than just cheese. Way has many uses. Yet here you are, safe, and not a scratch on you. Mm -hmm. And it was impressive, I have to admit. I only worry we may be getting a little ambitious. Ever tried. It's funny. I like munching on ember. There are so many songs about those mountains. And there's many stories. Too far for her. <laughs> I can see those most eager to win in the next competition have come here eager to learn. You are among friends.
the milk. Just in time for your surprise. Go, pour it. What's his name? Ah, Pasu. It means berry. Like these. He likes them best. Pasu. It doesn't look very tasty. <laughs> they are not for eating. They make him feel beautiful. Here. Just for you. You are friends now. And Zakra, never forget a friend. Have the sky people made a pet of you? <laughs> Ah, did you hear that? It means the sisters are back. Let us feast on cheese and zanke. We will toast on the return of Sarantu. But someone must raise the celebration kites. It is an honor your people used to enjoy. That will give everyone the signal. The think a kamatire can bruise up.
moment of your time. Where is Wu An? She knows I came here to practice. One of the Sarintu has come to watch my performance. My renown beyond the King Lord Forest is all but guaranteed. I... I'm sorry, but that's not why I'm here. Uh, oh, you could at least have pretended. No matter. I assume you are looking for Wu An? How did you know? She has an ear for fine music played expertly. Surely she would have returned from her foraging had she heard me play. She also mentioned she was gathering herbs for Neitu. And we all know how restless my mother's young protege can get. Where should I look? She likes to gather her herbs right across the river from here. Not much for changing her routine, Wu An. She is especially fond of that grassy bit near the shore. Though the reason why escapes me altogether. My notes do not have clarity on the open water. Strange. My friend, a moment of your time. Has my mother not seen to you? Patience. <sighs> that poor fool is not worthy of my time. Are you our young Saturn to guest? May I have a word? Do you have no other? Kai has asked for you. He says a sudden to presence will help. I can only hope he is right. The King Law have started leaving our home tree to nest again in the forest. But too many still linger. A Tua never likes to ask, but I think she could use your help. A Tua is right. The sky people are scum. Foolish sky people and their preoccupations. Yeah. Hope you like it, New Moon. I wonder if... Wu'an must have been taken by surprise.
But what else? But what else? Maybe it's linked to... Fight happened here. Must be Wu An's bow. Snapped. Maybe she ran? Viper wolves attacked. Broke Wu An's bow. So she ran. Could follow the scent of herbs? Thank you. 
Stay back! I am... You must be Wu'an. Neitu sent me. She was worried about you. Neitu is always worried about me. Except she was right this time. I am trapped here. Trapped? By what? Viper wolves. With strange markings and no kuru. An unnatural kind. Unnatural? Not of Ewa. They are faster than other viper wolves. Nina. It is not hunger or fear that drives them, but... I saw sorrow in their eyes. They caught me off guard. Snapped right through my bow. They are looking for me. I can hear their prowling. Oh, the horrors they must have endured to turn so vicious. Did the sky people do this to them? They have no peace, no calm, only the hunt. If they have your scent, maybe I can catch them unaware. Perhaps, but give them the mercy of a swift death. Only then will they finally be reunited with Ewa. The poor beasts deserve that kindness, at least. Do not worry for me. I will stay hidden while you track down the Viper Wolves. They are without mercy. No kuru. Should take a closer look. Focus. You unnatural beasts! Stay back, you unnatural beasts! Another without a kuru. Need a closer look. No kuru. Needs a closer look. You are back. 
You're safe now. The threat is gone. Oh! I thought I was going to die alone in this place. I can hold myself in a fight, but there is a reason I hunt berries instead of beasts. I'm sure you could have handled them all if you still had your bow. Oh, that is sweet of you. I will make sure Neto sets something special aside for you. A token of my gratitude. So it is just fog and mushrooms, then. Is that real? Have that we met? What I heard. And they're ca Capital is hidden in the rocks. I think someone is pulling your tail. Nobody can just live in the rocks nibbling on mushrooms. You are not useless, Netu. Your thoughtfulness saved my life. The far end to the world. I did not even need one. Katna is right. Do not invite chaos.
You are courting trouble. What clan are you? Ah, it is you. I have told Netu all about your heroics. Yes. It sounds like those Viper Wolves gave you quite a fight. I asked Netu for something to thank you with. The finest piece of Aranahe clothing. Wu'an exaggerates my skill. My weaving leaves a lot to be desired. Thank you, I'll treasure it. Great. Now you're both exaggerating. The Sarantu used to tell many stories. Do you remember any about the Ikra Lukri? Relatives of the Five Sisters, the Sarantu used to say of those ridges. But a feud divided the two families.